We have 75 trillion neurons in our brains. Something is going wrong in schizophrenia with multiple neurons and they're organized in complex circuits. That discourages some people, but for me, the crucial fulcrum is all the patients I've seen. That's a big motivating factor is to try to improve these people's lives. I've utilized predominantly endophenotypes in schizophrenia, that is cognitive dysfunction and neurophysiological dysfunction that are related to poor functioning in the real world. The notion is that by looking at multiple deficits and multiple genes, you can build models of abnormal gene networks. The most promising lead we have is a 42 gene network that's centered on glutamate function. So it gives us hope that we can get glutamate enhancing medications or interventions that would reverse some of the worst symptoms and dysfunction in schizophrenia. I think the, the, the primary trait a researcher needs is dedication. What I like saying to my students is this is not a sprint, it's not even a marathon, it's really a cross-generational marathon relay. BBRF to me represents the best of altruism. There are social and economic barriers to really helping people and giving them what we already know will help them. This gives the patients and their problems the kind of visibility that's essential to make social structural changes so that we can give them the kind of care that they deserve. Winning the Lieber Prize means a lot to me. It's very meaningful because of peer review, recognition of my life's work, and a lot of people put a lot of time and effort into this. And so the notion that I can represent them is a very meaningful uh, honor.